Hi everyone, in today's lecture we will discuss about while loop in Java. So what is while loop? See, while loop is an iterative statement in Java. Fine. Now the question that should come in your mind is, what do you mean by iterative statement? So basically, iterative statements are the statements used to execute a block of statements again and again until some condition is satisfied right and the process of executing a statement or a block of a statement repeatedly is called iteration or repetition or loop fine with these two things iterative statements and what is called iteration right see Iterative statements are basically the statements that are used to execute a statement or block of statements repeatedly until some condition is satisfied or a given number of times. And the process of executing a statement or a block of statement repeatedly until some condition is satisfied is called iteration. And iteration is also known as repetition or loop. Fine. So we can say that iterative statements are also called as repetitive statements or looping statements. Fine with these things? Right. So we can use while loop for executing the statements repeatedly until the condition is true. Until the condition is true. Fine. And you might be thinking that while loop when while loop is the best choice or when we can go for while loop see if if you don't know the number of iterations in advance i mean before writing the loop you don't know how many number of iterations required then while loop is the best choice fine if we don't know the number of iterations in advance that is before writing the loop then we have to use while loop I hope this much is pretty much clear to you. Right? Now let's see the syntax for while loop. So this is the syntax for while loop. This is what while and then we have condition. Then we have statements inside while loop body and this statement after while loop. So when the condition, if this condition is true, if it is true, then the statements present in while loop body will execute. Otherwise, the control will come out of the while loop and statements after while loop will execute. So, this is all about what the syntax. Now, let's understand the flowchart. Fine. So, see, if condition is true, what will happen if this condition is true? So, if condition is false, then what will happen? And if condition is true, then what will happen? We will see these things, right? So, if condition is true, then the statements inside while loop body will execute and the condition check will take place again. And the condition check will take place again. And if the condition is true again, then the statements inside while loop body will execute again. It means, it means statements inside while loop body will execute repeatedly until the condition is satisfied. I mean until the condition gives you the true boolean value. Clear with the true case? Now false case. See if the condition is false then the control will exist the while loop right and a statement after the while loop will execute. So this structure checks the condition at the beginning of the structure right. See, this structure checks the condition at the beginning of the structure. In the while loop case, the condition check is the first thing, right? At the beginning itself, the first step is to check the condition. If it is false, then exits the while loop. Now, it's time to discuss important rules for while loop, right? So, the first rule is providing a condition to while loop is mandatory mandatory and it should be of boolean type see if you are not providing a condition to while loop you will get compile time error saying illegal start of expression if you want to see this 
I can show you. So see, I have this example. I'm not passing any argument here, right? I'm not specifying the condition to this while loop. So what will happen, you know, in this case, you will get the compile time error saying illegal start of expression. Do you want to see this? Let me show you. Open the notepad, write the program like public class, what we are learning while loop, right? So while demo fine public static void main string array args okay then what i want to show you see while i'm not passing the condition and i'm trying to print this statement here system dot out dot println println and condition check condition check right save this with the class name dot java so while demo dot java i'm saving in the location this pc dot uh, document right so save this now go to the location where this file got saved see here is my file right while demo so at this location i am opening the cmd and i want to compile this program so java c what is the file name while demo dot java see you got the same error compile time error illegal start of expression see here because the condition is missing fine now let's see the next and the condition should be of boolean type see in this example see in this example the condition value is what int type int type that is here 5 is what int type data so in this case you will get compile time error saying incompatible type int cannot be converted to boolean if you want to see this also let me show you it will not take much time here just pass 5 and save it and go to the cmd and compile this program see incompatible types int cannot be converted to boolean i hope this thing is pretty much clear to you so specifying a condition to while loop is mandatory and it should be what of boolean type for example let's see the next example here condition is there fine and it is of boolean type so what do you think this is going to execute or not yeah it will definitely execute you will not get any compile time error and you will get output as one time inside while loop body right because you are printing this and i am breaking up here see what will happen first time condition is true so control will come inside jvm will execute this line okay so you will get this output and then jvm will see okay break break means come out of the while loop now the control will come here right so it will print only one time inside while loop body so this is 100 percent valid case you will not get any error if you want to see i can show you right away so here pass true and in the sop one what i am passing i'm passing like this inside while loop body and then i am using the break statement to break the execution break right now go and compile this see compiles fine run this java what is the class name while demo see inside while loop body one time output so i hope you are pretty much clear with this rule now let's go to the ppt once again and let's see the second rule so the second rule is curly braces are optional curly braces are optional when you want to take only one statement in while loop body fine in this case curly braces are optional but remember one point that one statement should not be a declarative statement fine if you are using only one statement without curly braces then that one statement should not be a declarative statement that is my point here so see in this example what i'm doing i'm not using the curly braces 
and I have this single statement here, right? While true and this single statement. What will happen in this case, you know? It will give compile time error saying variable declaration not allowed here. This is what a declaration itself, na? You are doing a declaration in A. So this is not allowed here. So in this example, we can see we have only one statement without curly braces and the statement is what declarative statement. In this case, you will get compile time error saying declaration not allowed here. So I hope you got the point, right? If you want to see this also, I can show you right away. Go here. Remove the curly braces. Hit enter. What was the statement? Int a is equal to 10, right? Save this. Go and compile. See, you compiled you, what you are getting. Variable declaration not allowed here. So I hope this thing is pretty much clear to you now. So this is what I have mentioned here itself. If we are taking only one statement without curly braces, then the statement should not be declarative statement. Now it's time to see the third rule. So the third rule is in case of loops, we generally declare loop variables and we have to perform increment or decrement operation over loop variables so that at some point we will come out of the loop. So the point here is you can't declare loop variables as final variables. If you do so, increment or decrement operation over final loop variable is not possible and you will get compile time error saying cannot assign a value to final variable a right if the variable is a right so final because final variable value cannot be changed that is the reason in case of loops we must not declare loop variables as final variables because we must perform increment or decrement operation over loop variables for example see this I have this example, I have this variable final int a is equal to 0. I'm using this variable as a loop variable here while a is smaller than 10. So print this statement and increment the value of a. As a is of final type, so increment will not take place. You know, you will get the compile time error saying cannot assign a value to final variable a. If so the fourth rule is Java program should not contain any unreachable statements. If it contains any unreachable statements, then you will get compile time error saying unreachable statement. Okay, so Java program should not contain any unreachable statements. For example, here see while true and what is this system dot out dot println inside while loop body. Tell me the condition is always true here. So this statement or this this statement is going to execute in finite number of times and this statement will never get a chance to execute never you have to terminate the program by using control plus C right so the point here is because of that reason you will get compile time error saying unreachable statement and you know why as the condition is always true, system.out.println inside while loop body, this statement will execute infinite number of time. And this statement will never got a chance to execute. Because of that reason, compiler will check these things and compiler will throw an error like unreachable statement. Is it clear? If you want to see this also, what I'm doing here, system dot out dot println system dot out dot println and then and outside while loop save this and go or try to compile this first see you got the compile time error system dot out dot println this statement is what unreachable statement now the point is clear fine the next is what this example, I'm talking about this example. See, while true system.out.println inside while loop body. What will happen in this case, you know, in the above case, code will compile fine, but inside while loop body will come on output infinite number of times. 
so the output will be like this in inside while loop body and it will come infinite number of times if you want to see let me show you so here just remove this statement because this is unreachable statement so i have removed this and go to this and compile see it will compile 100 percent fine now run this java while demo see it is keep on running it is keep on running infinite number of time so to terminate this what you can do you can just use control plus c so the program got terminated the execution got terminated so this is all about this lecture regarding while loop so in the next lecture we will see how to write a program using while loop because running an statement infinite number of time is not is the worst practice you have to terminate the program by using control plus c in this condition so how to write proper program using while loop we will see in the next lecture so thanks for watching this video please type our youtube channel